Hello, my name is Bernard Norcott Mahaney. I work at the Bluford branch of the Kansas City Public Library. And um, April is National Poetry Month, so I, I try to read poetry aloud. I do it myself. Uh, whenever I read poetry, I, I read it aloud. I try to find a quiet place where I won't disturb people and I read it aloud or listen to uh, uh, professional uh, performers uh, recite poetry. Poetry is meant to be heard primarily. There are some poets who have done stuff that cannot really be read, that is just a visual thing, but poetry for the most part is meant to be heard. So um, this April I am doing um, speeches and soliloquies from Shakespeare. Um, yesterday I did Brutus's funeral oration uh, at, at um, uh, the funeral of Julius Caesar from Julius Caesar. Today, I'll be doing the first part of Antony's uh, because Antony's goes on at length where he's interacting with the crowd. So this will just be the first part prior to um, his interaction with the crowd. So the beginning of the funeral oration of Mark Antony, one of the most famous speeches in Shakespeare uh, from Julius Caesar. Friends, Romans, countrymen, Lend me your ears. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is oft interred with their bones. So let it be with Caesar. The noble Brutus has told you Caesar was ambitious. If it were so, it were a grievous fault, and grievously hath Caesar answered it. Here, under leave of Brutus and the rest, for Brutus is an honorable man. So are they all, all honorable men. Come I to speak in Caesar's funeral. He was my friend, faithful and just to me. But Brutus says he was ambitious, and Brutus is an honorable man. He hath brought many captives home to Rome, whose ransoms did the general coffers fill. Did this in Caesar seem ambitious? When that the poor have cried, Caesar hath wept. Ambition should be made of sterner stuff. Yet Brutus says he was ambitious, and Brutus is an honorable man. You all did see that on the Lupercal I thrice presented, presented him with a kingly crown, which he did thrice refuse. Was this ambition? Yet Brutus says he was ambitious, and sure he is an honorable man. I speak not to disprove what Brutus spoke, but here I am to speak what I do know. You all did love him once, not without cause. What cause withholds you then to mourn for him? O oh, judgment, thou art fled to brutish beasts, and men have lost their reason. Bear with me. My heart is in the coffin there with Caesar, and I must pause till it come back to me. So that's the opening of Mark Antony's uh, funeral oration to Julius Caesar.